agency funded it, and they had some say in the design. Furthermore, Peter White was getting paid a bounty for everybody he could get off um, social benefits. He would get them off not by curing them of their chronic fatigue syndrome with uh, cognitive behavior therapy, but telling those bed-bound patients, if you don't get yourself into a therapy session and show your commitment to getting better, we're going to cut off your, your benefits. He even took away the parking passage, the, the handicapped parking of all his patients because he figured that would be a last little bit of exertion that they could get by having to walk the distance to the clinic. Sick man. And um, so I was asked by the, the Dutch physicians to answer some questions. What are your views about the etiology of chronic fatigue syndrome? But they didn't ask me that. What are your views on the etiology of chronic fatigue? That's a dumb, um, uh, ill-formed question because chronic fatigue is not a condition. It's not even a symptom. It's a whole body alarm state. It's a, it's reaction. It's a conservation response. So you have to get more specific. And if you start introducing other criteria um, consistent with ME, then we can start looking at a full range of ideological factors. The next question they gave me, can you provide an overview of research and psychological treatments for chronic fatigue? Yeah, it sucks. Next question, can you critically appraise the current scientific evidence for treatment modalities such as, uh, for chronic fatigue, such as cognitive behavior therapy and great exercise therapy? Yeah, if you're lucky enough to get a patient that doesn't have chronic fatigue syndrome, they'll probably benefit. A lot of patients benefit from exercise. But, if, but patients with chronic fatigue syndrome are different. There, there's a potential of being harmed by these interventions, and mostly it just won't work, period. And so with the aim of returning to work, which should be the treatment of choice? Evidence-based in the case of chronic fatigue syndrome. Well, again, uh, if you're in the Netherlands, who knows when you say chronic fatigue patient with chronic fatigue syndrome. The standards don't, they, the diagnostic criteria in use don't meet international standards. But uh, as Anil once said to me, he said, ME and return to work don't belong in the same sentence. And there, there is, over time, there is a, a significant minority of patients who can intermittently return to work, but it's unrealistic to expect that for all patients. And you do them harm. You're holding to unrealistic goals. It's like back when I was director of behavioral oncology at the Abenson Family Cancer Center in the University of, of, of Pennsylvania, and we fought so hard against those people who claimed that fighting spirit would overcome cancer. You can go into therapy to deal with your cancer, but fighting spirit does not extend your life or slow progression. And the absence of evidence-based psychological treatments, what elements of nonspecific support can be offered? Um, Accept patients where, they, where they're at, listen to them, and I think this is very important for the future, pacing. The, one of the evil things about the PACE trial, it was aimed at discrediting something that's very healthy for patients. Knowing their own limits and adapting to them as they fluctuate. Adapting their, their exercise and their output to what they feel they can do. Revise those assumptions when they need to. That's a normal, healthy process. What the PACE trial did is they started coercing people to go do more. And they hurt people. It's surprising, though, in the long-term follow-up, the patients assigned, assigned to the, ad, the uh, adaptive pacing actually did as well as anybody else. And I think they probably went back to their own approach. So uh, I think in the future, one of the goals ought to be um, um, recognizing that Adaptive pacing is not what was studied, in, and, and I think we've got to protect patients who are discovering its value on, on their own. Okay, if you want to follow me, um, I get in lots of trouble. Um, post at the request of the pace investigators, shut down my blog, but I just started it up elsewhere. And you can sign up and you can find out about everything I'm doing, ebooks, whatever. And I uh, expect you to be in the uh, police's face in the next week or so. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.